plush, very kind of him. Welcome to Serbia. Good morning, so I'm here in bar today and it's been an early start. So um, the last couple of days I've just been chilling in Couture, so I've not really filmed anything. I put a few clips here of kind of what I've been up to. Hi guys and welcome to Couture. So I've just arrived, the bus from uh, Zablajak was like three and a half hours I think. We've literally just checked into Old Town Hostel. We've come to get some beers again but we've booked on to do the sunset barbecue so apparently they take you up like above the fortress we were gonna walk there but after the hike yesterday we're a bit tired so it's a bit too much to hike up there today so yeah we're getting the bus with the hostel and also then we just get to meet people so i think there's like 21 of us doing it today and it costs 20 euros and it's bring your own booze so they provide the food and the transportation but then you pay for the beer. I've got Stefano and Julia with me. So we've all met in Zablajak and we did the hike together. And now we're gonna go and do the sunset barbecue together. But um, so far it's a really, really pretty place. It's quite busy, but it's so hot here in comparison to when we were in the mountains. So I had my leggings on and stuff in the bus and I had to literally get changed straight away because it was so friggin' hot. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna rush back now to the hostel because the tour's leaving in like 15 minutes. So we're gonna rush back and then yeah, let's go and watch the sunset. Whilst I was in Couture, went for a sunset hike. Um, but apart from that, yeah, literally just chill, just needed a few days. Um, and yeah, so today is really exciting. So I'm actually doing the Belgrade train. So it goes from Bar to Belgrade. It costs 22 euros for the train, which was pretty cheap. It's gonna take us about 11 or 12 hours, I think. So we should pull in in Belgrade this evening. So we've gone at 9 a.m. So we've got the 9 a.m. train. Um, they do one in the morning and they do one in the evening. So yeah, we've got the morning one. We just got onto the train now. I'm with my friend Jamie and basically it's actually a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna be. We got loads of snacks last night and we've kind of made some butties and things like that so that we've got something to eat uh, because apparently there isn't really like a food service or anything on the train. 
so we're just sat on here now um hopefully we're going to take off in about 15 minutes and uh yeah let's uh go through this train journey it's supposed to be one of the most beautiful train journeys in europe so it goes through montenegro dips into bosnia and then goes through to serbia so we're taking it all the way to belgrade i've taken my travel sickness pill obviously um because you know me like my travel sickness um and yeah so i'm just gonna chill out hopefully we see some beautiful sights i did hear from people that it was a bit grim because you couldn't see out the windows but actually the window here is quite clean so um i'm looking forward to seeing some of the spectacular views that i've heard about online <laughs> So first thing to know is that you actually have to book your train tickets in advance directly from the train station. So I'd recommend going a few days before and making sure that you get your ticket booked for the day that you wish to travel. So this is the little cabin on the train. So you want to get the Montenegro one. It's like a little Harry Potter room. Nice window table, a <laughs> Harry Potter. So you even get a plug socket in the carriage as well as you have full control of the heating inside the carriage. And then you've got your little walkway here. Let's go check out how grim the toilets are because I bet they're pretty grim. Oh yeah, this toilet roll. Yeah, not the most gorgeous, but it'll do. There are two different types of carriages on this train. There is a Montenegrin and there is a Serbian. This is a Serbian. So as you can see, our carriage is a lot nicer within Montenegro. You don't have to pay anything extra and you just basically have to board the right carriage when you get onto the train. First meal of the day, cheeky little yogurt pot, banana and granola. Nice. basically went into the toilet and it, the guy before me had flushed, very kind of him, and uh, went to go and flush it and it literally sounded like it was going to swallow me. I got a bit nervous actually, I thought, thought I'd broken something, um, but it wasn't too bad after that. Um, I've had a nap this morning, we've had some breakfast, some yoghurt and granola and bananas and I mean we're already getting a bit of cabin fever and we've been on here for two hours and we've got about 10 hours to go so that's good. Um, <laughs> we've had our butties and it's not even lunchtime. we're on here for three meals so um, so far not so successful but the views are incredible. Welcome to Serbia. It's alright isn't it? I've just woken up from another lovely little nap to some lovely beer so thanks Jamie um, and I we've just had border control on and obviously they were checking our passports um, I did get asked why I didn't have a stamp into Montenegro but I didn't get stamped when I came through the border um, so I thought that might have been an issue but to be honest with you it was okay you just asked for, like you know where I've been whatever it's relatively painless to be honest with you we've been sat here now for maybe for like 15 minutes and we are in the town of Nedokusi, which looks really lovely. Um, we're about to go through the Syrian border, so that's exciting. And that's going to be a new country ticked off, but I'm just going to enjoy being now and continue to look out the windows, maybe have another nap, <laughs> and then possibly have some lunch, I reckon. But we're about to lose phone signal um, going into Serbia, so we're going to quickly try and book the hotel that we're staying in tonight. <laughs> camera battery has died obviously but um 
yeah we've been on this train now for quite a few hours a bit i think we should be pulling into belgrade in maybe like an hour or the next 30 minutes the train ride has been really really beautiful if i'm going to be completely honest with you i think you could get off at the beginning of serbia and you'll have seen the best part so coming through serbia it's nice to see all the little towns and see how different they are and things like that but it has pretty much been the same scenery um since we crossed the border in serbia we've massively looked out so i decided to go for a little walk into the other carriages to see what they look like and the other carriages it's just like a normal train yeah the, the seats are a lot bigger and stuff like that but we've managed to get this whole compartment to ourselves for the whole journey so we've just been like asleep on three seats each and it's just been we couldn't have asked for a better experience really to be honest with you but there's been a little guy coming around with some beers so they were one euro beer so that's not too bad um and to be honest with you the toilets weren't too bad until about an hour ago and i think a little kid had an accident because now the the floor is covered in uh something that i don't want to step in so i'm going to wait until we get to belgrade to go to the toilet so we're nearly at the end of the journey we've pretty much eaten all of our snacks even though we thought we had way too many so we've been through two passport control checks we managed to get a stamp in this time which is good because i've not managed to get a stamp in the last two countries i've been into so i'm happy to have another stamp in my passport when we get to belgrade in the next half an hour an hour we're gonna just quickly jump our bags um where we're staying tonight and then we're gonna head out for some dinner <laughs> God. um yeah, we're gonna head out for some dinner and go for a few drinks or something. But this train journey has been, yeah, it's been really nice. But like I said, I think you could just get off in, at the beginning of Serbia and you wouldn't really miss too much. So, um, yeah, that's my review, I guess. <laughs> As you can see, we're really delirious here. Idiot. So overall, we had a really pleasant journey with this bar to Belgrade train. I have heard other people not enjoy it just as much, but we looked out and got that full carriage to ourselves. So I think that helped. But if you did like this video, please do like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one for my time here in Belgrade. Bye.